friends thought I'd share with you what I'm up to today it's a beautiful Saturday afternoon and this is a project I've had on my to-do list what it is is a whimsical family signpost and it will make a lot more sense to you when I get all the necessary parts ready to assemble Doug and my husband's wood stash and he gave me permission I found an old 2x4 and an old 1x8 and he's going to cut those 1x8 up into some little boards for me and then the 2x4 is going to be the actual sign post and it's going to be about four foot long and I'll have all the measurements below I went in my craft stash and just pulled out some old craft paint that I needed to get rid of anyway it doesn't really matter what color I use and then a couple brushes uh, to apply the paint with so when I come back to you I'll show you my cut pieces before I paint them okay I have my wood cut here and I want to show you what we've done once my husband started cutting up the one by eight we noticed that I did not even need that two by four so we're not even going to use that at all so if you have a piece of one by eight laying around that will be plenty of wood now he did my fence post is approximately about four and a half long and i'll have all the measurements below of what he did and uh, he cut me up about six little signs and some of them are different widths this one's like a four inch wide three inch wide and a couple two inch wide because i'm going to kind of mix them up and i want them to look kind of haphazard when i get back with you i'll have my wood painted and my sign post black okay it's the next morning here and all my little signs are dry and everything is ready to be constructed now here's the fun part is decorating up your little signs now you can do one of two things you can make a family member for each sign for like grandma grandpa aunt and uncle you know wherever you know put their names and the distance like you know 420 miles or whatever or you can think of significant destinations that mean something to your family. For example, Hot Springs, Arkansas is where Brian and I had our honeymoon. You know, we love Disney World, so we may put Orlando. But I'm going to think of, of like five special places that mean something to us. and Have fun with it and think of places that bring a smile to your face. You could even put a special, you know, store or, a, you know, a state park or wherever, you know, it means something to you. So just, you know, have fun with it. Now, as far as getting the words on the sign, there's lots of different options. You could use stencils, you know, you could even Mod Podge stickers on there. Um, if you're good with a paint and brush, I, however, have terrible handwriting. And so I think I'm just going to use a, a, a large permanent marker look at some different fonts and things to kind of help guide me to writing the letters so I think that would be easier and then I'll seal it so that it doesn't matter if I use uh, paint or sharpie marker it, it will seal and be protected outside so when I get back with you I'll be ready to show you the finished project okay we are coming out one of my back doors and I want to go ahead and show you my finished family signpost I think it turned out super cute I decided not to put it in my flower bed because I found this little spot right beside my back door gate but what I actually did is I went ahead and printed off just on a piece of printer paper the fonts that I wanted to use and I just kind of eyeballed it and then I used some carbon paper and traced it and so between that and carbon paper I was able to kind of transfer it well enough for me to copy it so that is just one option of you getting the lettering on there but you know there's some people that just have beautiful handwriting much more so than myself so I love the look that it's all kind of mixed match and different but that's the look I was going for and he put the screws through the back so that the nails wouldn't the screws wouldn't show in the front so there you go just one of a kind a little family yard art that's just significant to us hot springs is where we had our honeymoon orlando we love disney world monaco wisconsin we have family up in northern wisconsin we love going there every few years and knoxville and louisville are where our grandchildren live so and the last one is for a future destination so i hope you enjoyed this a lot of fun and i hope you try it thanks for watching bye bye